Hi guys, Wendy here. Today we're having a little bit of a problem with our golf cart. The batteries were heavily discharged. It's been sitting for several months. And in fact, at first the golf cart charger would not even pick up any voltage in the batteries. So a friend of ours hooked up their golf cart to ours with jumper cables, just giving it enough power to trick the charger into turning on. So we have fully charged it overnight. And now what we're going to do is first test um, the bank of batteries, and then we will test each battery separately. So we're using a digital multimeter. It's just an inexpensive one, so it will give you a general idea of the health of your batteries. And right now you can see it's set to DC voltage 200. And then you plug the black into the common port and the red goes right in there to the ohms. So with the multimeter turned on, the power off on the cart and disconnected from a power source, so no charger, we're going to test the entire bank of batteries. We have six eight volt batteries. So the bank, eight times six is 48. So it's a 48 volt system. And the way you test it is on your two batteries that are not connected to two other ones, like all the other ones, all of the other batteries are connected to two other ones. So your two batteries coming into the system are your main two batteries. So you put the red terminal to the positive and the black terminal to the negative on that one. So you can see our reading is 47.7 thereabouts. And if you look at the chart, the reading should be 50.92 to be 100% charged. At this rate, um, we're only about 35%. So now we're going to test each battery individually and check them all. So to test the batteries, you have to disconnect each one. You need to wear gloves and protective eyewear when you're working with batteries. Go to the red to the positive. That's 7.9 for an eight volt battery. So that's okay. It's not optimal. Um, probably should be a little higher than that. So as we go, I'm just gonna reconnect them so we make sure to get everything back in the right place. We're not going to hook this one up because I think we're going to need to replace it. More to come. Hi. This is Jim. That's all I want to do. <laughs> Jim came to the rescue with a trickle charger. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna oh, charge it for a couple too. hours, oh, and um, we'll come back and yeah, check it. Hey, Ralph. Hi. And then when you check it, it goes, it goes down and don't come back up. It's bad. So how can you tell it's bad? Right here. See the gauge? Yeah. That's telling it's bad. It's supposed to load on the battery. Yeah. If you put on on the other one, it's a good battery. Yeah. It'll probably stay, it'll, it'll stamp if it's good. Yeah. It'll stamp in the green. How likely <laughs> is it to go down on a 7.9? I don't know. You, you have to just unhook it and you have to unhook try it. it. Unhook it and try it. You need to do negative. Yep. Positive. It's, not, it's an 8 volts. No, it's at 8 volts, but when you take it down, when you put load on it, yeah. it's not coming back up, see? It should come back up okay. Hmm. So it's not good? No. Our friend and neighbor, Ralph, used his battery tester, which has the ability to put the batteries under load as if, you know, we were driving down the road. Um, and it showed that we had two bad batteries. And when we looked closely, we could see a little bit of swelling. It was very subtle, but so we bought six new batteries 
And what I wanted to point out here is it's important to take a photo of all your wiring so that you know exactly where each piece goes. And what one of our friends and neighbors does, they actually have a diagram written on the bottom of their seat, which is a great idea. So at the very least, take a photo so that you can reattach the new batteries correctly. So we've got them all installed and we're just charging them up and we'll be good to go. Well, everything is back and work in order. This is my partner, Crime Zena. We want to thank you for watching. Special thanks to Ralph, Jim and Dean for your help. Much appreciated. Have a great day.